I want to ask you going forward about any plans to investigate and possibly prosecute President Trump for inciting the mob last week, or certainly uh, Rudy Giuliani, Don Jr. Let me play some of what was said on the ellipse before the rally or at the rally. Let's have trial by combat. If you don't fight in the face of glaring irregularities. Fight for Trump! Fight for Trump! Fight for Trump! We're going to have to fight much harder. You'll never take back our country with weakness. What about Don Jr.? What about Rudy Giuliani and others? Mo Brooks, the member of Congress. Can they be prosecuted for inciting a riot? Well, let's just say first, those were outrageous comments uh, that those individuals, including the president of the United States, made. Clearly, the crowd was hyped up, juiced up, focused on the Capitol. And rather than calm them down or at least emphasize the peaceful nature of what protests need to be, um, they really did encourage these folks and riled them up. Now, whether that uh, comes to a legal complaint, I think we've got to really dig in and get all the facts. I know that I'm looking at a charge under the D.C. code of inciting violence, uh, and uh, that would apply where there is a clear recognition that one's incitement could lead to foreseeable violence. We still have more investigation to do, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to work zealously and fully and let the facts lead to where uh, they naturally go. Are you looking at the president's role or is he immune because of the Office of Legal Counsel guidance that has been followed uh, that the president cannot be prosecuted? Sure, Andre. As you, as you know, the OLC opinion says that the president can't be prosecuted while the president is in office. Um, as it turns out, the president has about nine more days of office. And of course, the investigation is going to go on much beyond those nine days. Um, it'll be another legal question as to whether the president can be prosecuted after his term of office. I think the better weight of authority um, answers that question affirmatively. And I'm not targeting the president or anyone else. I'm just saying that the D.C. Office of Attorney General, and I'm heartened that the U.S. attorney also said the same thing. We're going to follow the facts and we're going to go exactly where the facts lead. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.